And welcome to another episode of Car Boot Finds, the stuff that I get from car boots, etc. etc. Um, it was actually a nice day. Um, there was a, it was quite a full car boot. I went to two car boots today. I'll tell you about a bit, a bit about that after. The first purchase I got was this. Um, he had a couple of PS4 games, but literally one of them had it was Need Pursuit, a Need for Speed Pursuit. But when I opened it, it was the Xbox 360 version, so I, I took this and I oh, don't want that one. Uh, but there was one where I had uh, the disc inside it, and this was only a quid, so I thought, why not? It's only a quid. It's nothing crazy, it's probably about a 5 to £10 pound title, but for £1, pound, why not? That is LEGO the Star, uh, Star Wars Force of Bacon. I don't see much LEGO games as I used to, but not bad for a pound. And the next uh, uh, deal that I got was literally from a, a literally a van. I think I know him. I do deal with him. I do deal with loads of people at the car boots, but I don't remember everyone. So when he called my uh, called me, said, "Oh, I, I got a few games for you." I thought, uh, "What you got?" He said, "I put this," but he didn't have them, so I said, "Bring them next time." Hopefully, he does. But he, he said, uh, "Do you want this?" I said, "I don't usually buy these, but I do a fiver for it." Because literally, if these work, you're lucky. If they don't work, I only bought it because it literally came complete. And that is a a PS1. Um, it's not. It's very clean and all that, but uh, it's got it's all of its cords and all of its two dog bone controllers. I'll probably get about thirty for it if it's working. I assume it does because it looks all in like, pretty good condition. I, I think I powered up already. I haven't tested it on TV, but it should work fine, but very ha happy about that. Easy 30 quid. And the next, I uh, literally left that car boot and went straight away to another car boot, as my mate gives me a lift mat once in an hour and again. So I'll probably be going to the second car boot more often now. And the, fir uh, the first time I went, I think a week ago, I didn't pick up anything, so I didn't have anything to show you. This is the second time I've been back, I've seen two years now, um, and I was lucky, I've actually got something very, very good. And plus I've got a few contacts too, just in case they do have stuff. <laughs> um, so first was this, a guy that you had this game that you buried at the bottom, he said, I asked him, did he have any games? He said, yeah, I've got a PS2 game there, but something was hidden underneath it, he did me a deal one, uh, but... We both did these a uh, couple of items for a ten pound note, and that is a uh, Capcom Classics Collection. That's worth about I think twenty pound. Last time I checked, it's gone up. Last than last time I checked afterwards, it used to be eight pound. Now it's a twenty pound title, but it doesn't have its manual. But better than nothing. This was that you phoned into the deal, but the main part was this. I said, "Did you have any games?" He said, "No, I just have to console for this." I said, yeah, I'll have it. Literally, everyone was asking cars within a couple of seconds, so when I saw this for, he said, a tenner. I, I literally grabbed it so fast. It has its power supply, but it doesn't have its controller or anything else. It was like an N64. It's a bit rattly, but it powers on fine, so easily 30 to £35, pound, I think. Uh, um, I'll probably put these together for about 40 quid or something like that. Probably already showed by now, knowing the, how things pass though. So happy about that. Nothing too crazy, but a nice little bit of retro, guys. Um, hopefully, I'll pick up more soon. Like, enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.